The map is Sand River. It's a tier 8 game and we're in our tier 7 German medium tank, the Panther. So, how to tame a Panther? Well, I've got a couple of really good games. I've had some great games in this tank lately. I've got a couple of good games to show you and both games are quite different maps and I have to play the tank quite differently in the two games or a little bit differently anyway. So I thought I'd show it off. This is, if you haven't played it before, pretty much a sniper tank. It has a very long barrel gun, as you can see. The gun is... Oh, I just drove into a rock. Oh, God. The gun is very accurate. Uh, has a pretty good rate of fire. But it does low damage per shot. It also has good penetration. penetration. So we hit that MT-25, uh, Russian scout tank there. T-6 scout tank, and then we finish off. You see there, rate of fire is fantastic. It only does about 100 and... I think it's 130 average damage per shot, which is extremely low for a tier 7 tank. Uh, but like I say, rate of fire is good, but the uh, accuracy is outstanding, the rate of fire is very good. But it is a sniper tank, you really can't get close range with this. And even though it's a medium tank, it's not very maneuverable. Although it's fast in a straight line once it gets going, but it turns, the turn on this tank is awful, its turret traverse isn't that great either. The upper plate of the hull is quite good, but the sides and the lower plate aren't very good, and the turret's kinda average. It's all right. So normally this tank, you try and take a position in bushes a long way away. Here, though, we can't really get good bushes, but this map has a couple of good spots in it for people with good gun depression, and, well, has a lot of good spots for people with gun depression, but this tank has, I think it's about eight degrees of gun depression, and it can, you can utilize it here on this map. Also have a pretty good view range with this gun as well. So you can see the tanks like this underestimate often the rate of fire of this tank. If you are hit by a panther, even though the damage isn't high, you should move because the rate of fire is really good. We have managed to bounce a shot off the side of our turret there, as you can see. That green mark on the right hand side. So you have found this spot here to be quite good in tanks with good gun depression. And um, especially when you've got something accurate, like if, you, if you're seeing people at range, long ranges. Also, by being uh, here where our tank is pointing up a little bit, I have to. Uh, my gun depression is not quite good enough to hit this tiger without moving forward anymore. Let me get one to the side of him there. The, it flashed up 328 damage. That My damage wasn't 328, it's just that someone else hit it at the same time. We track the. Uh, Jack Panzer IV there, which he'd be annoyed about. No one managed to hit him though. Someone's hit him now. And we managed to get a shot in there as well. Doing 120 damage to him. Oh, that was terrible. That would have been, uh, that would have been lag, that shot. And we missed with that one. So even though we do low damage per shot, we've managed to rack up 800 damage so far, which is not too bad. This will show off the accuracy, I think, of the gun. Just missed, but then we weren't actually pointing at him when we fired. The gun, pretty, the shell did go where we pointed. So this is before I've got my new computer. This is when I started my old computer. You can see that I'm suffering a bit of lag there. My shot's uh, firing too late. Now, I did get hit by the Tiger 1 there, which is not good, doing 233 damage to me. So I, I uh, wanted to move back, wait till I wasn't spotted anymore, and uh, I have to be a little bit careful there. So, what's this, 626 meters? So you can see the accuracy there, that was a pretty long range shot. The Tiger has spotted me again and put a hole in me again. So we return one to him, although, of course, he does a lot more damage than us, so we can't afford to stay out there and trade shots with the Tiger. Tier 7 German heavy tank. But we'll keep the front of our tank. I really want to keep the front of my tank pointing at the Tiger now. The upper frontal plate in this tank isn't bad, and when you've got your tank pointing up, you can actually do all right because uh, you're increasing the slope on the frontal upper plate. As long as they can't hit your lower plate. So and the Tiger's now been eliminated, which means we're a little bit safer to come out a bit more. Enemy is hit. We get one into the uh, enemy tank destroyer there. He's keeping his side to us, which is great for us. 
It is accurate, but uh, this sort of range, we're at uh, 379 meters, probably a bit rich to try and track him, so I'm really just aiming at a uh, at the flat surface and trying to penetrate him. Not worried about trying to track him at this stage. Well, that one does hit his tracks. Doesn't track him, just crits him. But... Then we get the finishing shot. So you can see with the rate of fire, we managed to do 583 damage to that tank destroyer there. And uh, everyone else was uh, taking advantage of it. So I don't know, we might have got some spotting damage there too. I'm not sure if, the, if we were the tank that was spotting him. And no, we're not quite going to get a shot or are we on this tank? I want to come out and have a shot at this other tank, but I'm just a bit worried if I come out that that other tank then pops over the hill. Oh, we've just been hit by a VK. Uh, ooh, over there, yeah. I decided to stay out long enough to take another shot. But that's not the VK that just shot us, is it? No, it's not. That's an AMX. Oh! Did I just crit my own tank? Ah. Uh. get one of the AMX there. I don't know where we got where that VK shot us from. Oh, that's him on my left there, is it? Okay, there he is. So let's see if we return the favor. Actually, the VK hits me again, but he wasn't even pointing at me. Is there another VK out there that I can't see? The Indian Panzer hits me then. So now I'm getting... We, we bounced the VK that time. So now we're getting hit a fair bit. So I think the VK, that's a tier 6 tank, that one. Oh, he is firing APCR at me. There you go. So he's firing premium ammunition. I think it's a tier 6 heavy, isn't it? I have reviewed that tank. I just haven't driven it for ages, so I can't remember. Moving up, hopefully, see if I can spot someone here again now. I'm trying to keep my upper plate pointed towards where the VK fired at me from. So I to get one into the Indon. Another one into the Indon. Can we finish him off? I don't know. That missed or bounced? I'm not sure which. I'm just trying to destroy a bit of the cover there for the Indian. So we are winning. We've got quite a few more tanks in the team. So I decide if I die, it doesn't matter now. So I decide to move forward. That guy's behind the rock there. I thought he was coming out, but... Or is he? No. Alright, so let's see if we can move forward and get a shot on this Indian. There he is. Uh, we bounce with his track, and he hits us. End of the game for us. So that was a mastery badge in the tank. We also managed to get a Confederate. The reason I've been driving this tank a fair bit lately is I'm trying to get uh, one of the missions completed, which requires me to set a higher tier tank on fire. So the reason I'm using the Panther is I figure the Panther has a very high rate of fire, and you can hit a lot of tanks with it, so the chances of starting a fire are higher. At least that's what I figure. Uh, unfortunately, the only tank I've managed to set on fire is one of equal tier so far, so uh, I haven't been able to get that mission completed. Anyway, uh, we finished on top for XP, uh, and actually on top for damage, which is pretty unusual in Panther to finish on top for damage. So we fired 38 rounds, which shows you how fast the rate of fire really is. 25 of those rounds hit, and 20 of them penetrated, doing 2,412 damage. 2,000 of that was from long range. We got hit nine times, six of them penetrated, three of them uh, bounced, and we blocked 440 with our armor there. So we spotted three vehicles, damaging 10 of them and destroying three, which is a pretty good result. And we also managed to do 1,440 assistance damage, which is pretty darn good as well. 46,000 income, 31,000 profits, not too bad at all. And 1,223 in the tank was enough for a mastery badge. Alright, so taming your panther. So it's all very well for us to do the role that we have, which is to be on a map with lots of trees for cover, or a map where you've like sand river we just did, where you've got lots of sort of sloping, general slopes where you can use the tank's uh, sniper gun to effect. But what if you get a map like Himmelsdorf, where really tanks with poor armor, it's pretty tough on Himmelsdorf. Well, let's take up this position here where we can at least cover our lower plate and maybe get some lucky shots. We're waiting for my binoculars to kick in and we've spotted MT-25 moving across open ground. We may should track him with the first shot. Uh, he repairs using a repair kit. We get another shot into him there. 
tier 6 scout tank and the rate of fire on this tank is good but not quite enough to get him there but one of our teammates finishes him off so now moving up to position we've got a uh, enemy jag tiger tank destroyer I'm pretty sure I'm not going to penetrate. All I can see is his upper plate, and it's very well angled. I've pretty much got no chance of penning it, but I think I've got nothing else to shoot at, so we'll just try. Then I said, you know what, I'm going to try and take his gun out. So I start aiming at his gun. And you can see the accuracy there. Very, very accurate uh, gun. I think we actually did hit his gun there. You can sometimes, I have previously taken out people's guns by shooting at the actual gun when there's nothing else to shoot at. So we put a shot into that light tank there and he's sort of uh, now under a little bit of pressure. He can't just uh, move with impunity there. Just seeing if I can get a shot on any of these guys. It's not looking like it. Just hoping this guy's going to move into a position where he's more vulnerable. So once again, I think we actually did hit his gun there, but we didn't manage to damage it. Probably uh, this gun doesn't do a lot of damage. It is pretty much very similar to a light tank gun, really, in the amount of damage it does. So probably not enough damage to damage the gun with just one or two shots. We'll probably have to hit it multiple times. Just hoping this... Uh, T-37 is going to back out, but uh, he's being a little bit uh, too careful for me. So I just decide now I'm just going to have to move out. Much as I don't want to, the tank, like I say, doesn't have the greatest armor other than the upper plate. And it's not maneuverable, so if I get caught in a bad position, we can really get slaughtered. But I see they've got a lot of tanks up top, so I figure um, there shouldn't be too many down below here. So I should be able to move out and do this. I really want to get this T-37. We get a critical into him, unfortunately. We don't penetrate him, but we get the killing shot on him there. And I just want to do that to help out my teammates down the other end of the alley. And they're now putting pressure on that jag tie. They just hit push shot into him then. So hopefully it'll allow our, our tanks to push down the map. Can't see anything that side. So I just want to make sure my back was covered before I turn and face this uh, jag tiger. So I check the other side first. And now he either has to move or face me and expose himself to my teammates or allow me just to kill him. He really just had no choice there. So it worked out well for us. So moving forward now, it looks as though uh, our team is winning. Looks like we've won the hill. or No, they've won the hill. They've won the hill and pressed down the hill, I think. So I'll see if I can get behind these guys here. And we've got a stug there. We get one into the side of him. He's now facing us. I back up a little bit. Get a shot with my great reload speed on the way back. Now I'm going to try and side scrape. And we can see just how weak the armor is as he puts one into my lower plate, I think it is. I try and give him hardly anything to shoot at. And he does manage to bounce that second shot. Although that said, that Jag Panzer IV there was firing uh, premium ammunition. You can see there, APCR. So um, we bounce the second shot because I think all we gave was track. But the first shot, I think he pushed straight into our lower plate. So the lower plate, if they can get it, uh, they will pin it. And what are we looking at? Artillery, uh-oh. So I fire and then move, change angle a little bit, trying to make it hard for him to aim at us. Second shot, uh, I didn't fully aim and it missed. So as you see, once this gets moving, this tank, it's all right. We've hit 40, uh, 43 kilometers an hour now. Before. We'll do 50 on the flat. It just takes a while to get there. And it turns really badly. It turns like a boat. Uh, okay, so, whoa. Well, we've got artillery coming down here, which is okay. I hope it doesn't shoot me, but there's also an RHM behind him. He does hit me with 608, the artillery. And the RHM rams into him, which I don't mind because the Panther is very heavy. And uh, the RHM isn't worrying about me. Because of the low damage I do per shot, he's actually worried about my teammate more than he's worried about me. But I managed to do a fair bit of damage to him. We did uh, 569 damage to that RHM. And somebody else finishes off that artillery. Alright, so once again, a mastery game in the Panther. 
next screen. And we finished on top for XP and did we finish on top for damage? No, this SU-14-2 finished on top for damage, but we are almost there. And next screen, and we find 29 shots, 28 the last game, 29 this game, so you can see the very high rate of fire. Uh, 20 shots hit, and uh, of course we're firing at the gun of uh, a tank there for a fair bit, so obviously that explains uh, quite a few of the misses. Uh, 17 of the 20 shots that hit did penetrate. 2,227 damage. We received two hits, one of them pen, so that was that tank firing us with premium ammunition. We managed to bounce one on our tracks, basically. But we did get splash damage from Nardi, doing over 600 damage, and that missed. So if that had actually hit us full on, we would have been in big trouble. We uh, spotted four tanks, damaging six and killing three of them. And we uh, did 1,644 assistance damage as well. So some of that, or quite a bit, but that was just, yeah, spotting them. So 48,000 income, 40,000 profit, and uh, 1,246 XP was enough for mastering a tank. So if you are struggling with a Panther, I hope this helps you out uh, on how to do it on different kinds of maps. Basically, it's a hide and snipe tank. If you are going to go out in the open, you really can only do it when you're pretty sure there's no other mediums or light tanks around because they will be able to circle you. It's not maneuverable. And uh, when really yeah, no one's going to be able to get, get shots on you because it's, it's not, uh, you can't, blast your way out of trouble with this tank because it just doesn't have uh, the damage per shot so yeah hope that helped you out if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more uh gameplay and more reviews please subscribe to reginald esq have fun